Aaron Dykes here with another InfoWars exclusive. We have yet another bombshell at the 2011 Bilderberg meeting. Our insider Bilderberg source uh, revealed to us just this morning, in addition to the list that was leaked yesterday, uh, four more names not on the list, uh, plus one more we confirmed photographic evidence. Uh, the ones we have photos of, we've already posted on InfoWars, and that is Rasmussen, the head of NATO, uh, who is undoubtedly working for a wider and more serious serious Libyan war and who knows what else in the region. The other names that were not on the list but who have been confirmed uh, at attending the Bilderberg conference include Angela Merkel, the, the head of Germany, Jose Luis uh, Zapata, uh, may have to double check that spelling, uh, maybe Spanish, Zapatero. Zapatero, Jose Luis Zapatero, Prime Minister of Spain, the Prime Minister of Spain, and then two Gates, both Bill Gates, uh, the head of Microsoft, and also Robert Gates, still the sitting Secretary of Defense. Although they have already named his successor, he is still sitting, and his attendance at this meeting is a violation of the Logan Act, preventing U.S. officials from meeting in secret with foreign officials without the approval of Congress. So Secretary of Robert Gates, of the USA, really needs to be held accountable for his attending this meeting, and it's no wonder they kept him off the list. Yesterday, and it was in some of the papers that an Italian member of the EU Parliament attempted to enter the Bilderberg meeting and not only was he denied entrance, in fact the police decided to push him down and bloody his nose according to reports. And here it is in the Bunder Tagblatt, uh, not 100% if I'm pronouncing that right. The point is EU Parlementaire also a canton Verwiesen. You could see it here, uh, probably read it better than I can. Uh, it mentions the Bilderberg Prince Mario Borghesio. That was his name. Mario Borghesio was pushed down by police and his nose bloodied. So, so if they've got nothing to hide, why would they be um, brutalizing a member of elected parliament in the EU uh, who's simply trying to find out what's going to the meeting and get himself invited in to talk? Also, late last night, about midnight, uh, name Dominic. Baitik. Excuse me, Dominic Baitik, uh, the elected representative here in Switzerland, uh, did walk down to the hotel where the Bilderberg are having the conference and he officially asked to be let. They denied him, uh, supposedly on the premise that no one was in charge in the middle of the night, uh, but he did try to gain entrance and he says he's going to ask further questions as to why the EU Parliament was brutalized. Uh, he did have to leave on other business early today, so he won't be back at the hotel, but we will. There's going to be a protest in about an hour and 15 minutes from now, high noon here in Switzerland, St. Moritz. If you're out there, come on down. We need you to show your face so we let them know we know what's going on at Bilderberg. More reports to come, Infowars.com. Hey folks, we're live on Justin TV, Bilderberg, Saturday with a big protest coming up shortly. Um, just want to cover some Bilderberg treason. We had the news from a few days ago, obviously, talking about the visit of this um, Swiss federal politician. She's in the federal government here, name of Doris Lothard. Um, so it was announced that she was going to be attending Bilderberg meeting. And then obviously yesterday we had the um, footage of the helicopter leaving the helipad there at Bilderberg uh, and the photographs from that event suggest that this individual was there preceding the departure of the helicopter the individual to the right lady with the dark hair which is Doris Lothard the Swiss politician and I've actually got um, photos of this individual before the helicopter set off the point is basically was the departure of Lothard um, planned to precede the visit of Dominique Baitig, who is the Swiss politician, um, who basically accused her of treason for fraternising with foreign officials, which of course, under these Swiss laws, which are similar to the US Logan Act, um, is completely illegal treason. Of, of course, the Logan Act, Hillary Clinton was fined under it, and this year, as we reported earlier, um, Secretary of Defence Robert Gates is in attendance here at Bilderberg, 
uh, which of course is an act of treason against the United States of America because he's still um, an official in a position of high authority. So we've got new accounts of treason, numerous accounts of people breaking the law flagrantly, and uh, now people looking at pressing charges. So we'll be back with more. Stay tuned. And he's there, but he's not on the list, according to our sources. He's not on the official list, but Tucker, from his inside sources this morning, um, got a list of five names, one of which was Anders Rasmus, head of NATO. He wasn't on the official list either, but we caught a photograph of him on the first day. So there are several attendees who are not on the official list who are here at Bilderberg. June will be back soon. Streaming live at Bilderberg 2011, we're now en route to try and discover the potential location where Bilderberg members have gone um, for their lunch. And of course, if you were listening to the show earlier today, um, a possible male escort source that we were talking to told us that um, he was going to service the moguls at name El Paradiso um, location, which is kind of a, a luxury restaurant retreat up in the mountains beyond the Bilderberg Hotel trying to find Aaron Dykes at the moment who is probably up the hill because that's where our car's parked we'll be back stay tuned still on the search for Bilderbergers um, as it appears they've traveled to their little private retreat here at the top of the mountain beyond the Bilderberg hotel itself of course we had the report earlier of our source who is uh, apparently told us he was on his way to this uh, hotel Paradiso place to um, service the moguls there, um, as we explained on Infowars earlier today. So we're basically on the road right at the moment trying to search for these uh, stray Bilderbergers to try and get a photo of one of them, or at least try and confirm that they've gone walkabouts and that they can be found at this Paradiso restaurant-style resort place. So we're live. We've got a Bilderberg vehicle behind us traveling up the hill here obviously going probably to this hotel this Diso place where we suspect the gay escorts are taking care of the Bilderberg members and we've got this blue van tailing us now as we're live on the info stream on Justin TV so we're still trying to locate these Bilderberg members that have gone for their uh, male escorts to which of them well, we believe male escorts are meeting members of the Bilderberg group. We don't know if they know what we're up to, but it's quite an important thing to mention. This is obviously a single lane road. There's not really anywhere to defer to if they wanted to have some kind of encounter with us. And uh, of course, this camera shot is quite shaky. We're on a um, only partially paved road right now in a very remote part of the Swiss Alps. And uh, we do believe this is a Bilderberg connected car following directly behind us right now as we're trying to develop our sources and gain more information. Hey guys, I'm going the hard way. What is it? We've got a hell of a view. Live, we got a, we've got a built vehicle right behind us here, streaming live. Stay tuned. Still going up the hill trying to find this Paradiso place where we believe the homosexual escort, according to numerous sources, this has come from not only our source in the bar last night, who is actually one of the male escorts, but also from other journalists on the scene. And we're being tailed by this Bilderberg bus, which is probably going to the same location. Where it gets dangerous. They're military. Military being approached. By We've just military. identified who's in the van following right behind us. It is members of the police uh, or the military uh, who've been in the um, conference downstairs. They've just seen my camera filming them from the back. They honked at me and shook their finger no. Uh, we know they've told our protesters earlier during the conference that. If they film the police, uh, they will be in trouble. They will push back against the protesters, not allow them to be in the public areas anymore. Watching that car now. And uh, now they're approaching us. I'm going to keep Stay the tuned. audio rolling. That's it. Let's go. You want to make a scene? Here, the whole thing. Richtig. Beachtet. Fahren wir da weiter. Alles weiterfahren. 
Okay. Und ich hoffe, ihr dürft euch dran halten. Habt ihr, könnt ihr aufstellen vielleicht? Weil Was ist? Verbotsschild oder Einfach so? Einfach steht das. Allgemeines Fahrverbot. Also? What's up? In English? Well, he, uh, well, he said that uh, some sign uh, basically closed this road off to the general public. I'm not sure. I haven't seen that. He may be just saying that to get us off the road. So he basically explained to us we have to go this way, uh, basically the other direction from that, that place. Bilderbergers were meeting. Uh, he told us to disappear and um, we're trying to figure out where we might uh, where we might leave the car, maybe go on foot. Because that road now makes a turn right, uh, turn to the right, back down the hill. Basically, we were just approached by the. Uh Militarized police, they tend to stop filming them and basically they don't want us around here. So we're going to try and park up somewhere and walk around on foot. Don't go anywhere. We're rolling up to more police here as we try and locate this, this barricaded so nobody can get in. Is that the do you think? Restaurant. Let's ask this person if that's Paradiso. It says restaurant what? on the side of it, that's all. You may have located the Bilderberg Pleasure Room. No, I don't think it is, to be honest. You don't think it is? No. We'll Why are the police out. down there, though? Just because Once we rise and say we're trying to find the Pleasure Dome. <laughs> Obviously, you're rolling right now. Yeah. Obviously, there's several uh, ski lodges and restaurants and other buildings up on this side of the mountain of the Swiss Alps. Uh, right now we're trying to flush out exactly which of these buildings is the purported elite pleasure dome. Um, it's called the Paradiso uh, Bar and Restaurant or Hotel. Yeah, and, bar and uh, restaurant. And we've encountered other restaurants uh, near the ski lift areas. We've also encountered uh, some rather normal tourists. Uh, and there's quite a bit of police presence up here. And including a barricade just over this way, uh, so we're trying to identify just exactly which building is the location. It's Franco Barnaby, Rothschild. Wir wollen der Polizei nochmal sehen, wo die 